I put a photo on Instagram a few days ago and some of you asked me how to do macro photography on a budget. So here's my guide. So the equipment that you're going to need is, this is just an entry level DSLR. It's a Canon 600D and it's just got the 18 to 55 lens that comes with it. And then along with that, you're going to need to invest in an external flash. This is just a cheap one from China that I got off eBay. Um, it's got manual controls on it and it's also got the ETTL so that takes a lot of the thinking out of it for you. But you can get an even cheaper version than this and just go full manual. The next thing you're going to need is extension tubes. They're just like um, little adapters that go in between the lens and the body and it just changes the minimum focusing distance. Um, I bought the ones by Polaroid. There is more expensive versions that have got autofocus, but I never use the autofocus, so I wouldn't worry about that. So there's like different sizes. That's a 21 millimeter. That's a 13 millimeter. And that's a 31 millimeter. You can use them individually or you can stack them together and get an even more magnified view. Then to go with that, you're gonna need some way of softening the light that's given out by the flash. And I just made this one up with some cardboard, a Chinese takeaway box and some paper towel. I did that about three years ago and it's still standing up now. Um, so yeah, you can probably just do that and then it's not gonna cost you anything. You can buy them off the internet as well, but I don't really see the point. And you're probably thinking that it looks stupid, but you're going to be stood in the field taking pictures of bugs, so who really cares? So we're going to take this out into the field now, and I'll show you how to use it. So this is how it looks when it's all set up. I've just got the big 31mm um, extension tube on it for now, and the lens is at 55mm, and you want to set it to manual focus, and turn off the image stabilization then I tend to put it into infinity which on this lens is twisting it all the way to the left and then settings wise I've got it on one two hundred for the second because um, that's the flash sync speed it's also on f14 because the depth of field is really shallow so I found that if I if I am at like 5.6 then maybe the eyes are in focus but then after that it's just a blur and I don't really like that, but maybe that's for you. It's just like personal preference, really. And then I've also got the ISO on 400. Because I found that the when it gets to about 800 on this camera, it gets really noisy. So I try and avoid that where possible. And then, yeah, that's it. This just fits onto the top of the flash like that, and then it's ready to go. Then once it's all set up, um, the biggest thing that you're going to have problems with is probably the focusing. Because if you look here, um, that's how close the subject has to be away for you to be able to focus it. So the way that I usually do it is I get close to the subject, so it needed to be that far away. Then rather than using the focusing or zoom in, I tend to move the camera in like little increments. because you want to try and get the eyes in focus and then I find that's the most important bit so that's that's the only reason I do it. I'm going to try and show you it in practice so I'm going to try and find some bugs but if not I'll just do it on these flowers and then I'll put some examples in to the video as well for you. So it turns out that finding the insects, videoing it and taking pictures is a bit ambitious so I'm just going to take some pictures of this flower and show you that instead. Some other tips that I forgot to mention before is, is you need to pay attention to where the sun is because the sun is behind the camera now and it sets a shadow this way so if you're trying to like sneak up on an insect or something you don't want the shadow going onto the insect because it's just going to fly off as soon as that happens you want to just like sort of go in slowly so it doesn't fly away but for taking the picture what you need to do is I need to be there for the flower to be in focus. I'll put that picture on the screen now for you. But um, one other thing that you can do 
is it's on the 55 millimeters like I said before but if you want to get even close you can either use a focusing ring and twist it or you can use a like the focal length like if you go towards the 18 millimeter that's going to get you even closer so I'll shoot one at 55 and one a bit closer as well So that's the way that I do the macro photography. Now it's not like only limited to doing the bugs and that kind of thing. You can also use it for like shooting rings at weddings and that kind of thing. But this is generally what I use it for. You can also use it with pretty much any lens. I used it with the 400mm the other day, but I found it has to be a bit too far away. Um, but it was the right sort of size for a frog. So I'll put that picture on the screen as well, so... Depends on your lenses, you've got different uses. So I hope you found that helpful. And I want to try something different. If you found the guide useful and you got some pictures, maybe put them on Instagram and use hashtag Adam Kappa and I'll check those out. Um, and if you like the video, please like it and subscribe. See you next time.